गाइज वेलकम टू माई ग्रीन डिश टूडे आई थॉट ऑफ री पॉटिंग दिस प्लांट इन अ न्यू पॉट इन जनवरी आई वेंट टू माई मॉम्स प्लेस इन मुंबई एंड आई ब्रॉड फ्यू कटिंग्स अलॉन्ग विथ मी टू बैंगलोर एंड आई एम क्वाइट सरप्राइज दैट दिस वॉट एवर कटिंग्स आई ब्रॉड दे ऑल सर्वाइव एंड नाउ नॉट ओनली दे सर्वाइव दिस they have grown very nicely in this small container i brought around 2 3 cuttings of this plant as well as this uh, radiscensia zebrina and beetle leaf uh, plant uh, also called as pan so uh, all the 3 4 cuttings which i brought uh, in the same container i put everything and they I'm quite surprised that they survived. So now it's been like around four or five months, and they have grown very well. So I thought I will repot this with you guys. So let's get started. So this plant is a mint. Uh, sorry, Mexican mint, which is also called as ajwain plant in India. but if you think that the ajwain seeds or the carom seeds which we uh, use in a kitchen and th this plant is similar then you are totally wrong because uh, ajwain seeds or carom seeds are totally different than this plant so this plant is called as mexican mint uh, it is also called as indian borage or uh, french oregano i guess or spanish thyme uh, there are many common names to this plant uh, this plant is uh, the origin is unknown but it is possibly uh, native to africa and maybe india i am not sure because whatever i uh, read Uh, it all said that it is the origin is unknown but it might be from africa uh, so uh, this plant was brought to india by explorers uh, early explorers who used to travel all across the country and they brought this plant to india and then it was introduced to south africa uh, south east asia and that's how everyone gave their common names like indian borage or we call it ajwain uh, also called as spanish thyme uh, so uh, let's plant this i will try to remove this properly without uh, damaging the roots of this plant as well as the other plant which is in there because i think i need to report report both of the plants so at least for now i'll report only this mexican mint looks like the roots are gone very deep Oof, successfully i have removed one cutting then so if you see this is the only cutting which i had brought and from the single cutting i got this two plants Okay. my cat is surprised that what i am doing here i am using this pot it already has drainage holes don't forget to make drainage holes and to block this drainage hole i will use this you can use gravels also so i am using this which is widely cultivated now for its culinary as well as medicinal use so i 
have filled the soil only till halfway. Uh, both the cuttings uh, or both the plants I am potting it in the same pot. Uh, this plant has lot of medicinal use. Uh, is I make the concoction of the leaves. Uh, so I, I take uh, around 4 to 5 leaves. Uh, boil it in water in around one cup of water I take around one cup of water add uh, ginger powder and honey and lemon and you can drink it as a tea uh, it has lot of various health benefits so you can try this uh, it's good for cough and asthma and other stomach disorders I have planted this successfully. Um, so if you see uh, this plant, the leaves are little fleshy. So if you see a little scientifically, uh, as it is thought to be native from Africa, Africa is a tropical country and uh, they have dry climate. So uh, this plant is a succulent plant. Uh, it's kind of semi succulent so what are succulent or semi succulent so uh, succulent plants are those which can store water so that it can survive well in the dry or humid climate so if you see the leaves are little fleshy uh, your aloe vera plant or your snake plant these are all succulent plants so these are uh, well adapted to store water in the leaves so that they can survive with limited amount of water. So this plant does not require lot of water and uh, this plant requires good amount of light, good amount of sunlight. Uh, if you put your finger in the soil, uh, then if you feel the soil is moist, don't water it. But uh, when you put finger, go a little bit down, around 1 or 2 inch. And if the soil does not stick to your finger, that means it requires water. So only water when the soil is stored, completely dry. Otherwise, what will happen that, that uh, if you water it too much, the, there are chances that the roots might start to get rot. And your plant might eventually die if you over water it. Let's water it and water thoroughly as uh, the water should reach each and every area of the soil or roots. So whenever you water, water from all the area and the water should drip from below the drainage hole. So that means, um, that means the water has reached everywhere. Okay, can you see this? The water is dripping now. So that means the water has reached everywhere. Now I will not water this until my soil is completely dry. I have repotted my plant successfully. I will keep it here. So I hope you like this video. And if you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do comment down below if you have any queries. I will try to answer your queries. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.